Hey, what's going on? Dylan TV the Soccer Essentials. Thank you for checking out this video. Thank you for checking out all my videos. I know if you actually apply what you learn in these videos, you're going to become such a better player. So stay focused on that. Biggest thing I would recommend to you is do not get frustrated. If you are a young player, you do not have the right to be frustrated because you haven't put in enough time. But I guarantee you, if you put enough time, your frustrations will disappear and you will improve in every area of your game. In this video, I'm going to talk about the attacking midfielder position and we're going to go through a little tutorial and give you some ideas of what to do in certain situations. So as the attacking midfielder, you are the creative outlet for your team. So your team is relying on you to create most of the goals. Now, if you are playing in this position, do not look at that as a big pressure position. You have to look at that as my team is giving me this chance because I am a good player and I am capable of creating more chances for my team. So first of all, be confident in yourself to take on this role because it's a very important role on the field. Obviously the number one key is to keep possession. If you cannot go forward, do not be afraid to play the ball backwards into your defensive midfielders or even wide into your fullbacks, center back even. Okay, you want to make sure that these passes are on, they're not going to get intercepted. But instead of forcing the play and losing possession of the ball, you want to keep possession. That's the biggest thing. The other team cannot score if they do not have the ball. So when you're in this position, the attacking midfielder going forward, most of the times you're going to be com combining with the wingers or this striker here. At either point, once you play the pass, you have to move into new space. There is no time where you play a pass and you stand still. So when you're on the ball here, especially in this middle third, you want to limit your touches, move the ball quickly. Two touch, three touch maximum. If you have space to attack, if you're on a counter attack, then you can dribble, but know when to make the pass. If someone is in a better, in a better position than you, a better scoring opportunity than you, you have to give them the ball. So when moving forward, if I'm playing wide here, I can either continue my run into the box and wait for this player to play across into the box that I can attack. You can join in on this side and support. Maybe you can double up, overlap, or underlap on this side and see if you can combine with this winger to get the ball back and create space around the box for either a cross or a shot here. If you are playing into the striker here, most times you're looking for a little one-two. So I'm playing around a defender usually and I'm going to make a run into space here and hopefully get the ball back for my striker and I can either take a shot on goal or we can try to play again. I can try to dribble into space or I can try to play another one-two and continue my run forward so I can get a goal or get a shot on goal a little closer to net. But when you're playing into striker, if he cannot turn, you have to tell him, ask for the ball back. So a lot of the time, if I want a ball to come back to me, I'm playing the ball into him. I want it to come back to me one touch. I'll say set. And what that means is basically he's just laying the ball lightly into my path for either a shot or to me attack with more pace. But when you say set, and you should talk to the, your striker about this before, talk to all your teammates. Set means just a little pass backwards. So we're going forward, backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards, but we're always keeping possession of the ball. As the attacking midfielder, you are expected to score goals. And the only way you're going to score goals is by getting forward. If you are playing in this position, you need to get into this box at least 10, 12 times a game. When you play the ball out wide, do not sit and wait. Carry your run forward and get in the box. Anytime your teammates have the ball forward, and there is an attacking opportunity, you need to either be in the box or just arriving late at the top of the box for again, a cutback and a shot on goal. Okay, but you have to get forward. If you are lazy with your runs, you are not gonna score goals, your teammates are not gonna have people to pass to, and you are not gonna play your role for your team. So get forward as much as possible. The great thing about this position is it's a lot of fun. You are involved in almost every attack and you are in the center of your team. So if you are playing in this position, you have to be technically skilled. You have to be comfortable. Playing quickly is the biggest thing, especially in the middle of the field. If you are taking too many touches on the ball, you're gonna stop the flow of a lot of attacks. Your teammates are gonna get frustrated playing with you. So keep things simple. 
obviously around the box, if you get pulled out wide, that's when you use your one-on-one -on -one skills. And be confident, go at them with speed, and show them what you got. When you're playing in this position, don't think that you don't have to defend. It's so important, especially in the middle of the field, that you are coming back and helping out your defensive midfielders. Anytime you can double up on a player and win possession of the ball is a great opportunity for you to get in there, but you cannot jog into those situations. You have to sprint into them and really put high pressure on the, the team with the ball as quickly as possible. Have fun in this position. Be creative on the ball and don't be afraid to play difficult passes, okay? You don't want to force the play, but at the same time, if your striker is making a run, if a winger is making a dangerous run, you have to play the ball. I would much rather you go for it and fail than turn away and don't make the right pass. So try, try. Uh, over time, you are going to learn this technique. You're going to perfect it. But until you try and fail, you will never succeed. Always take your shots. You're going to have a lot of opportunities to score in this position. So never hesitate when you have a shooting opportunity. If it's on your left foot, if it's on your right foot, if you know you should shoot, you have to take a shot on at that point. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment and like below. If you are new to this, please get the free training guide that's in the link in the description box below. That's going to help you get started and really improve your game. If you are an advanced player, pick up Mental Mastery and Soccer Success Secrets. If you haven't got those yet, I do not know why you're wasting your time. But there's so much value in those and they're going to make you such a better player. Come back tomorrow, I'm going to do a new video. And let's keep improving every day. Remember, we love this game. That's why we play. It should be a lot of fun. But at the same time, it should be very challenging in your training, on your own, and with your team. If what you are doing is easy, you are wasting your time. So keep that in mind with your training. Come back tomorrow, and let's keep improving.